They trooped to the streets of Nanyuki town with calls for justice for one of their own who was allegedly hacked to death by a British soldier. Commercial sex workers in Nanyuki have condemned what happened to Agnes Wanjiru, decrying that often their lives are put in danger while in their line of work and now want their lives to be respected just like any other despite the work they do. <laughs> Waweze kutuangalia na watetea haki yetu na watutambue kama sisi venye tuko wa Kenya kama venye wanatutambuaga wakati tunawachagua kama tukiwapea kula watutambue hivyo hivyo tu serikali ya Kenya itutambui sisi ni masistas wao na pia sisi ni wasasi then kitu ingine unakutanga sisi sex workers unakuta client venye mliko meongea mkifika lochi unakuta Mmeko sana hata na kurep and then ukienda kuripoti pale unaambiwa aje sex worker we ni malaya itakuwaje urepiwe by the way tunarepiwa the late agnes is survived by a 9 year old son who is now under the care of her uncle since her demise the family has been living in poverty since agnes was the only sole breadwinner the group is now asking that the family of agnes be compensated to help them get through with life aliachaka katoto kadogo at least mungu amekawezesha kwa hiyo riziki kidogo huwa watu wanatoa toa wanakapelekea at least kamefikisha Nine years, but he is still a baby. Nimtoto bado. At least we hope the government will do some follow-ups. Haki ya uyo mtoto itendeke kwa sababu walipoteza mzazi ya kiwa mdogo. Haki yake itendeke. At least tutona justice ime prevail. The truth about Agnes's murder was revealed by New York Times and American Daily, which detailed how a British soldier confessed to committing the crime. The late Agnes was only 21 years old when she was murdered and her body dumped in a septic tank where it was later found by authorities in 2012. <laughs> so far the Kenyan government has been silent on the matter since the issue emerged which makes it unclear what step it will take next. Lilian Kamau, Ibru TV.